Hello everyone, today I'll be going over how to set up sockets for your characters so you can add your weapons to your characters or actually anything you want to basically stick onto the characters. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using the UT3 mail, which you can find if you just go to UT3 and then characters. So you just click characters and then up here filter by skeletal meshes. You can open the iron guard mail A. So you can see by default he's just got nothing on him. If we go to Mesh Socket Manager, you can see the sockets that are currently on, which are just attached to the bone. So, like the weapon point is attached to a B right weapon, which is a bone that we set up on the actual mesh, which we'd have to look at in uh, 3ds Max. I do actually believe there's a way to look at it in this. All right, there it is. Show skeleton. So you can see it's attached to one of the bones there. It's actually attached to the right weapon. I don't know which one that is, but you can see the skeleton there. So we can attach a socket to any of those. I'm going to go ahead and uh, not show that right now. What I'm going to do to sort of display this first of all is I'm going to add the weapon they normally use to show you. So I'm going to go down here, go to your weapons and then link gun. Make sure you get the third person one because what they do is they make a much higher quality version for first person view and then a lower quality for third person. So we'll click the third person and go back to socket manager and choose it for skeletal mesh. And as you can see, he holds it perfectly. And if we go to animation base mail, we can see that with all these sockets in place, it's holding it perfectly. Now that's all good, that's really done. We want to add our own. So I'm going to be using a sword. It will look silly, but hey, who cares? We've got a sort of modernist, uh, modern looking sword, so modernistic is the word. Probably is, actually. So instead of attaching it to this weapon point and then moving it around, well, I'm going to make a new one because I don't want to break their sockets, basically. Now, they basically made the sockets and then made their animations around the weapons. Now, obviously, I can't do that because this is not my character. I don't have access to this. So I'm going to make a new socket. Now, one thing I will note, I'm going to put it in the left hand. So the dual weapon point I found is in the B left weapon bone. So we're going to definitely make sure to put it on that bone. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out that preview for that point. And I make a new socket. So now we choose our bone. So left weapon. And I'm going to call it sword. And there we go, we've got sword there. Now, as you can see, it's been put right there as well. So I'm going to add it as the preview mesh. And then we can move this to it. I've got another screen, so I'll just put it over there. And we could do all the editing inside of this. Now, I want him to hold the sword uh, as a sort of a rifle thing. So I know it's in the wrong hand, but like, let's find a like, crouching forward with a rifle. Obviously, you'd never use a sword for a rifle, but. Hey, doesn't matter. Not for this anyway. Okay, so sort of put it in place. It's really nice and easy, simple to use. And that's good. And then it's as simple as this because we'll have to close that out. And you can see now it all moves along with him. So obviously there's no like uh, sword slash animations with character and Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to change these. So, but that's how you do it. It's really kind of simple. They made it really nice to use. And then you wouldn't then keep it on there, say, if you wanted that sword, because that doesn't make any sense for the programming. So what you do is you go to your socket you made and you clear it out. Now, there's nothing there anymore, but the programmer can then say, well, when you pick up this weapon, assign that uh, mesh to this socket. And instead of then having to put in the, like Half-Life, if you've ever done embodying for Half-Life, where if you make a weapon, you have to put in all the values uh, sort of in the code of where it goes. This is kind of like doing it for a user interface. But when he says, OK, I want to draw this weapon on this socket, it will already be in the right positions and attach the bone and everything. So it really cuts a big workload out, and it's really, really easy to do. So there you go. This is a really simple way to do that. And it, obviously you can use anything you'd like with that as well. So as long as you just stick a bone in it uh, on Max or Maya, it doesn't matter where it is because you can move the socket around um, and save it as a skeletal mesh, it, uh, it will be absolutely fine to use. You can use static meshes, um, but skeletal meshes uh, sort of, if you want to mess around with them as well, it works nicer. But you want to make them do stuff, like animate. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. If you've got any questions, please uh, comment in the comments below. Um, please favourite, subscribe and like, and it really helps me motivate me to bring out more content for you all. Thanks for watching.